Berkshire Hathaway, an investment company led by Warren Buffett, is currently holding its largest cash reserve ever, nearing 190 billion US dollars. And compared to its market cap, that is nearing about 900 billion US dollars, this cash reserve is about one fifth of its total worth. For an investment company not investing its cash, what exactly is Warren Buffett's position? What are his thoughts? And what will be his strategy? And it is not just Berkshire Hathaway. Many large companies are accumulating significant cash reserve, as we can see here. And what are these companies preparing for? My name is Con Hao. My work in this channel, as always, is to study behavior science and finance, discover correlation between different markets, and uncover potential opportunities. And all these large companies, where are they residing in as a management? And I will term that Dow Jones, S&P, and NASDAQ as the big boys index. They are residing here. And why are they reserving so much cash? There are two key reasons. Number one is that they are not seeing much good investment opportunity into the future. And number two is that they are also preparing for a tougher time ahead. Why? And I believe that since about 2022, they are concerned that there will be stagflation. And why is it so? Now, stagflation is when the economy, there's a slow growth. In the same time, inflation pick up. And we're seeing that here is that the last quarter of GDP has been coming off and it's projected that it may come down further. Whereas the inflation seems to be uh, coming off from 9 to 3%, but for one whole year, it has been stagnated at 3%. So there's a concern that there's a plateauing effect and there's also a risk that inflation may pick up. So whenever inflation pick up in the same time with a slow growth and that's later, that is stagflation. And one way to counter it is having a lot of cash. And this is what the big boys are preparing for. And let's look at some technical study here. And we can see that since the COVID, uh, all the big boys index has been behaving really nicely. My strategy was to buy into the stocks with so much liquidity. But until 2023, I began to be very cautious. Why? Because the mid cap stocks are showing me the other way. And it did behave the same as the big boys index until 2023, that we can see that this uptrend line are all very similar. And let's look at what happened to Russell. And 2023, it starts to weaver in and out. The behavior study for this behavior, when the market starts to weaver in and out on this main uptrend line, it means that the market are unsure of this uptrend line. The mid-cap company or the mid-cap stocks are not sure. They are not doing that well. Whereas the big boys, they have a lot of cash what they can do is that they invest in the yield, the short-term yield, where they could receive about 5.5% payout every year. But the mid-cap stocks or companies are not doing that well. They do not have much cash reserve, and but they do have a lot of borrowings, also paying at about at least 5% of interest. It's eating up into their profit margin. And therefore, that's why in 2023, when I observed this observation, for my investment in the US big cap, I'm relatively cautious. And how do I manage my risk uh, from time to time? Taking note that the mid cap companies are not doing that well, I have to be very careful as well. So every turn is a signal, could it be a sell off? Say, for example, we could see that there is this sell off in April, the whole month of April. Now, I will have to take it really seriously that this sell off, I have to ask myself this question. Could this sell off is a first crack and this is a retracement for more sell off to come? Or could this be a retracement in this bull and market going to resume further? I'm going to take this clue very seriously that this could be a first crack and could this be a retracement? And how do I measure that is that I'm going to look into a, a very smaller picture. Say, for example, about just a few days ago, Believing that this is the first crack and this could be a retracement, that I will have to look at, could this be a double fault for uh, timing to sell? 
and seems like it's not. So I will have to continue to keep track of the coming data, which is uh, tonight there'll be a CPI data that's coming up. I'm going to see how it's going to market is going to react to it. If it react negatively to it, maybe it's time to buy a put or get into the outright hedge into the e-mini S&P index or the micro e-mini S&P index as well. Warren Buffett, instead of investing his cash, preferred hoard it. It is telling me a gloomier outlook is ahead. Stay tuned for my coming tutorial. Remember to subscribe to my channel. The market are always telling us on their next move. Join us in our weekly case study and discussion. Click on my profile icon or description below to find out more. Feel free to leave me any comments below. I love to exchange ideas with you. Really happy that you stay through this tutorial. You have many great trading weeks ahead.